Hi, welcome to Reading Corner. This week we're gonna be reading all about spring. And I have a book called On a Snow Melting Day, Seeking Signs of Spring. Spring, if you're seeking something, that means you're looking for it. So think to yourself, hmm, what might we find in spring? I thought of something, flowers blooming. Thumbs up if you've seen flowers blooming in spring. Great, well let's see what else we'll find in spring. On a snow melting day, seeking signs of spring. <gasps> Look at that, there's a flower blooming. Squir squirrels cuddle, snakes huddle, clouds break, salamanders wake. I think the salamander might have been sleeping in winter. Icicles drip. Chickadees sip. That chickadee's getting a drink from the icicle. On a plink plonking, plonking, marsh mucking, duck dabbling day. Wow, look at all that. Mist lifts, ice drifts, spiders creep, peepers peep. That means your eyes are looking. Look at the frog's eyes. Those were rhyming words. Lifts, drifts, creep, peep. Lake thaws, beaver gnaws. If something is thawing, that means it's melting. It's going from frozen to not frozen. It's becoming liquid. On a hawk squawking, paw sinking, woods walking day. Snowmen droop, cardinals swoop, rabbits bounce, foxes pounce. The temperature is getting warmer, so there's not gonna be any snow, and we're gonna start seeing lots of different animals. Flowers warm, insects swarm. On a puddle splashing, Crocus poking, mitten soaking day. I know that kids love splashing in puddles. Do you like splashing in puddles? Mud splatters, look at that bike. Chipmunk chatters, buds grow. Goodbye snow. Snow sure is a lot of fun, but it's really fun when the temperatures warm up and we can go play outside and feel the sunshine. Blackbirds sing, kids swing. Some more rhyming words, sing and swing. Welcome spring, look at those beautiful purple flowers. That was a really great book that gave me so many ideas of what we can be on the lookout for in spring when we're seeking signs of spring. For creative time, let's do a little art project to celebrate spring coming. Let me show you how to do it. For our spring art activity, we're gonna be using Q-tips, paint, and then some spring things that we can decorate. So I have a butterfly, an umbrella, this is a tulip, and you can print these from online or you can ask a grown-up to make the outline for you and draw lots of little circles. We're gonna practice how we would hold a pencil. So pick up your Q-tip and hold it between your fingers just like this. Pick a color that you like. I'm gonna start with purple, dip your Q-tip in, and now you're gonna just have fun practicing holding your Q-tip just like a pencil and also making a really pretty design. And so you can make a pattern if you want or you can do it randomly. I want this butterfly to be very colorful. So I'm gonna do lots and lots of purple dots and I'm trying just to do it right inside each circle. And when you need more paint, you just go and dip it right back in. And try not to mix your colors. Use one Q-tip per color. That way you can keep your paint nice and neat and your colors nice and vibrant. Okay, I think I'm ready for a new color. 
What color should I do next? Hmm, I'm thinking yellow. Yellow is such a fun, bright color and perfect for spring. The sun shines through all the seasons, but it is especially bright and sunny in spring. Okay. And each time, just make sure you're holding your Q-tip just like you would a pencil. You're gonna be writing a lot soon. Wanna get your fingers really strong. Okay, let's do another color. Hmm, what color should I do next? I'm thinking blue would be pretty. Whoops, if you make a mistake, that's okay. Just keep going. Some kids might like to go around the edges and work outside to inside, or you might like to work inside to outside. I'm having fun just kind of doing it randomly. But there's so many different ways to be creative, so do the way that you like most. Okay, I'm just gonna keep working on this, and I'll show you how it looks when I'm all done. And here is my beautiful butterfly. I'm all finished with it. I'm gonna lay it flat to dry, but I'm really excited to hang this up and show that I'm excited for spring. We're gonna celebrate it. So make sure that you're on the lookout for all the things that mean spring is here, like rain falling, flowers blooming, all the animals that you'll see. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.